Hashtag 70,000. That's the number of foreign workers that the world's richest country needs by 2030. And that's why the government has set a lot of wheels in motion. They've relaxed the immigration requirements, making it easier for foreign workers to come in with families, giving dependents work rights, also relaxing the visa requirements, relaxing EU blue card requirements. But the other big change that has come up is on the government portal. Now, if you remember in the past, I have already covered the government portal that the government of Luxembourg had launched to attract foreign workers. But obviously the website had a lot of info that was all over the place. So the government has pulled all of the info together, made it concise and made it easier for you to identify where is it that you fit in in the giant Luxembourg wheel. So if you are interested in moving to the world's richest country, make sure you stick around. This is definitely more of an update video because I've covered this topic before. But if you've not watched those videos, you don't have to because this is the most abridged version. Stick around. My name is Nadina Gori and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time stopping by, thank you so much for doing so. My name is Nidhi. I am a finance professional, a digital creator, and also the CEO and founder of Globalogy. At Globalogy, our mission is simple. Anyone who wants to move abroad from anywhere to anywhere should have an option of doing that. And that's why we provide a bunch of services. You can pick and choose according to what suits you the best, whether it's our direct job placements, our job support service, or our visa PR service, or come to Canada. If you want to start the process cheap, we also have a variety of masterclasses to guide you through. In short, we have a solution that works for everyone, whatever stage of life or career they are in. Check the description box for more info on Globalogy. And now let's talk about Luxembourg. So first up, I'm sure you're going to ask why Luxembourg? So let me tell you, this is obviously the world's richest country. Also, more than 70% of their population is made of expats. Historically, pre-pandemic era, as I like to call it, the new BC before COVID, Luxembourg was the place in EU which was always okay to give visa sponsorships. So when I was working early on in my career in 2014, 2015, I had seen a lot of people moving to Luxembourg because it was actually one of the easiest places to get work visa. In. So giving a work visa is actually the norm in Luxembourg. It's not a big deal. That's why 70% of their population is expats. The personal tax structure in Luxembourg favors having family. So if you have dependents or family who wants to move with you, the tax structure is such that your taxes become lower. So single people pay more taxes and people who are with partners pay lesser taxes. Oh, and did I mention they also have free public transport. So I'm sure you're very excited to know all about Luxembourg. So quickly, let's jump into what are the immigration changes that we're seeing. So as of July 1st, 2024, they've changed a lot of their EU blue card requirements. They are making it easier for foreign workers. I've already covered other changes like allowing dependents to work and stuff. I will link a video somewhere on the I if you want to go and watch that because that has some of the other changes, especially if you're moving with family. But this one, the big change is around EU blue card. If you don't know what an EU blue card is, in just simple words, it is a visa that allows you to work in 27 EU countries. So you kind of have a free access to like living and working. Of course, you have to spend some time in the country that gives you the EU blue card, but it is the most coveted visa that I know of actually across Europe. And Luxembourg is making it easier for you to get that. So quickly, let's look at the changes. Well, first of all, they are relaxing the experience and the eligibility pathways, change of employers and change of sector rules, and of course, reduced contract durations and minimum salary levels and then new short-term and long-term rights. So what does this mean? First of all, if you have five years of experience, whether you have a master's degree or not, but you can still apply for an EU blue card. Also, employers are free to hire whoever they want because of the ongoing labor shortage. And if you are an EU blue card holder who's lived in another resident state for 12 months, then you can just enter Luxembourg and continue living here and working. This requirement initially was 18 months and it is still 18 months in many EU states, but in Luxembourg, they've lowered it to 12 months. You can also change your employer in just 12 months down from 20 four months previously if you have a new blue card and they've lowered the salary level. So I'm sure at this point you're pretty excited and you want to figure out how is it that you can take advantage of this opportunity. And I'm going to take you through the work in Luxembourg website. It has had quite a few changes. I'm going to take you through all the important parts of the website that you must read and I'll tell you what else you can actually skip and you don't have to get into it. I think that's why it's good to have me to do all the research for you and you can just come and watch what's needed. So the first thing you want to do is go onto this website, work in Luxembourg. Now, once you go here, this is how it will open up. You can see this is the place to be for highly skilled talents from all over the world. They have three sections here, job offers, labor market, and about this platform. So immediately I would come to talents worldwide. Now here, what they've introduced is eligible professions. This did not exist before. And so I think a lot of random people started applying. So they've listed eligible professions, which are in very high demand. Okay, this is just very high demand. This is not 
even high demand or medium demand no this is just extremely high demand i think finance is obviously big in luxembourg so you have credit and bank risk analyst bank customer management front office financial markets back and middle office then you have roofing installation restoration management engineering again engineering industrial and operating equipment then you have a whole list for healthcare and after that you have education so like early childhood educator then you have law so like legal defense financial analyst analyst and audit accounting management audit then you also have hr and then it which has a bunch of other fields so these are the eligible professions if you meet the requirements that's the point number 2 and the requirement is just that you must be from the eligible profession it doesn't matter how many years of experience you have as long as you are in the eligible profession you are eligible to go through this portal then you can create your profile and upload your cv and you can actually start by entering your email to access the job offers now what should you do if you're not on the shortlist list then they have this amazing job offer portal that's actually open to everyone so this has all kinds of roles it's not just eligible professions and that's why i kind of like it you can go here and check if there is you know anything that fits your profile and anything that would probably work for you so i'm just looking at aml kyc analyst life insurance i don't think i saw this on the list of eligible professions but i still see a job here this is open to all foreigners and you can go and check roles like this that would work for you i'm going to quickly look at finance manager and then finance and accounting what's interesting is like they also mention work experience without experience i don't know how they want like a finance manager without experience only need english so that's pretty cool and then if you are matching then i would convert this whole job description in english and i would apply for it so definitely look through if you're eligible create an account if you're not eligible go through the job offers also there is some interesting information if you go on to about this platform i think you know it just gives you info talents from all over the world this is who can sign up and also adem that's luxembourg's national employment agency and if you have any kind of connect in eu then you know definitely something that you can take use of and then uras luxembourg which again definitely works for people from Europe but I think they also do outside of EU kind of fairs so things to look into so that's it they've made the website very concise i think initially they also had a contact form i remember because i've covered it in one of my videos they also had a bunch of other random information about luxembourg which was all spread over they've deleted all of that keep it super concise made it easier for you to follow they're not giving you any special tips nothing they used to do job fairs so i'm hoping that that comes back that's the only part of the website that i personally miss apart from that i feel like this is a very concise website it has the info that you need either you are in the eligible professions you go and create an account and then you get started once you create an account your resumes will be shown to all the people all the employers in luxembourg that are looking for someone like you and you can also go and apply for the job offers if you're not in the eligible professions just apply for the job offers so i think that way it definitely is very balanced it works for everyone and the best part this website is completely free to use the link of this website is also flashing on the screen so make sure you take screenshot or just rewind back and see which website i opened and on that note this little update video of mine from luxembourg has also come to an end i hope you found this video informative if you did please let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions let me know that as well any country that you're thinking of let me know in the comments let's just sound off bounce off some ideas and i'll make sure that i create content around it i promise to see you in my next video until then please 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 make sure you take care of yourself stay well namaste